Good morning, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of Major General Paula C. Lodi, the commander of the 18th Medical Command, welcome to the Change of Responsibility Ceremony. Today, Command Sergeant Major Christy Kortner will relinquish responsibilities as the 18th Medical Command Sergeant Major to Command Sergeant Major John Dobbins. We extend a sincere welcome to our distinguished guests, fellow command teams, soldiers, families, and friends of the 18th Medical Command. Among our distinguished guests for today's ceremony are Brigadier General Cox, Brigadier General Solis, spouse Dr. Kathy Cox, Ms. Diane Helwig, Command Sergeant Major DeHart, Command Sergeant Major Thompson, Command Sergeant Major Retired Vance, Deputy Commanders and Sergeants Majors. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, Sergeant Galang, 18th Medical Command's non-commissioned officer of the quarter, will now present lay to Command Sergeant Major Kortner's extended family. Command Sergeant Major Miller, Master Sergeant Megan Finkhausen, and Melanie Miller. The lay signify the bonds of the loyalty, support, and affection that have been built throughout their time together. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, Olivia, Hudson, and Holden, Command Sergeant Major Dobbins' wife and children, are being presented lay. The lay offering is presented by Specialist Sarbaker, 18th Medical Command's Soldier of the Quarter. The lay represents, signifies, the bonds of friendship which will grow over time between the 18th Medical Command Hohana and the Dobbins family. Unable to attend today's ceremony is his daughter, Olivia. The 18th Medical Command has a distinguished unit history, serving our nation in one of the most hotly contested regions of the world during armistice. Originally constituted in the regular army on May 10, 1967, as Headquarters and Headquarters Detachment, 18th Medical Brigade, the unit was activated on August 18, 1967 at Fort Lee, Virginia, in preparation for service in the Republic of Vietnam. The unit inactivated at Fort George G. Meade, Maryland on December 16, 1970, and later redesignated as 18th Medical Command and activated again on August 16, 1984, in the Republic of Korea. After 24 years of outstanding service on the peninsula, earning the Navy Meritorious Unit Commendation in 1989, and the Army Superior Unit Award in 2003, the 18th Medical Command cased its colors in Yongsong, Republic of Korea on October 15, 2008. On November 25, 2008, Headquarters and Headquarters Company, 18th Medical Command was welcomed to Hawaii in an arrival ceremony right here on historic Palm Circle to serve as one of United States Army Pacific's theater enabling commands. The 18th Medical Command achieved full operational capabilities on October 4, 2011, and supported multiple exercises and operations throughout the Pacific. On September 16, 2020, the 18th Medical Command transitioned from being a part of Regi Regional Health Command Pacific to being the Theater Medical Command for U.S. Army Pacific. Simultaneously, the 8th Forward Resuscitative Surgical Detachment was assigned to the 18th Medical Command. The 18th Medical Command stands ready to provide command and control, administrative assistance, and technical supervision of assigned and attached medical units within the Indo-Pacific region. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the invocation given by the 18th Medical Command Chaplain, Chaplain John Goldsworthy, and remain standing for the arrival of the official party and singing of the National Anthem by Specialist Sierra Clark. Please pray with me in your faith as I get the privilege to pray in my Christian faith. Lord, we thank you for this beautiful day and this amazing place. We give you thanks for the ability to serve as warriors that defend freedom and liberty in the greatest army on earth. I ask for your hand of blessing to be on this change of responsibility between Command Sergeant Major Cortner and Command Sergeant Major Dobbins. 
We give you thanks for Sergeant Major Kortner's leadership, hard work, and passion for our soldiers. And we ask for your blessing to be on Sergeant Major Dobbins. We pray that he has wisdom and strength to lead well in his upcoming assignment and mission as the senior non-commissioned officer of the 18th Medical Command. Lord, we also ask in this time of transition that you give the families of these two soldiers, the families who make all of this possible, peace, joy, and strength. We pray all of this in your name, Jesus. Amen.
that theater perspective. Not to mention the need to stay in sync with the training readiness levels of our to-be-named reserve component units through our USAR sister theater medical commands and U.S. Army MedCom. Because on a really, really bad day, our plans would, would tell us that we could have over up to 100 units, medical units, flowing into this theater. And while we may not formally see to these units now, and we may not formally see to these units in crisis, should the warfighting headquarters choose to retain OPCON, these units and their soldiers will be our responsibility to stitch into a viable continuum of care. We have countless mission partners within and outside Army Medicine, and over 50 at the last count at the last Pathways Planning Coordination Conference. Throughout the region and in CONUS, or the strategic support area, our engagement and influence with these organizations and understanding how they fit into our mission at the tactical, operational, and theater level is critical. The breadth and depth of what the senior enlisted leader of the Theater Medical Command is responsible for and must be prepared for cannot be overstated or underestimated. Command Sergeant Major Cortner, for two years and four months, you have served as a senior enlisted leader for 18th MedCom, facilitating all that I just described. You spent countless days away from your home, TDY, many times back to the mainland or over to Europe to influence and shape the future of both Army Medicine and the Army. Through Headquarters DA selection boards, participation on critically important command assessment panels, MedCom senior leader forums, and best medic competitions, you have invested your time, energy, and expertise in important spaces for our enterprise nurturing your relationships with your fellow MedCom sergeants major, setting the example for MedCom soldiers, and informing and educating various forms on the role of the Theater Medical Command, a highly unknown and little understood entity in our formation. You strengthened our relationships with key allies and partners, notably Australia, New Zealand, and Japan promoting the ways that our professionalized non-commissioned officer corps contributes to readiness and ongoing transformation efforts in how we envision delivering combat credible care on the battlefield. Noteworthy within our organization was your focus on soldiers from the junior enlisted council to NCOD, NCOPDs, NCO induction ceremonies, staff rides, and your passion for reinstituting sergeant's time training, you made sure amidst the high op tempo of the organization, we did not forget some of the time-honored traditions and basics of soldiering. I thank you for all the things you did to continue to support my vision for this command and the accomplishment of our mission. The Theater Medical Command's responsibility to command and control and stitch together the Joint Health Service and Force Health Protection Plan starts with being synchronized across the Army and across the Army Medicine Enterprise. And Command Sergeant Major Dobbins is perfectly suited for this challenge. Sergeant Major Dobbins comes to us from Brook Army Medical Center, so brings a great perspective on operations within a large medical facility that will enhance interoperability and synchronization with Tripler Army Medical Center and the other MTFs throughout the region. His understanding of how to operate in this space will help us see better our requirements of DHA as a combat support agency. He has extensive background with the 160th Special Operations Aviation Regiment and is the right leader at the right time to capitalize on all the momentum we've spent the last two years nurturing with key mission partners such as the 5th SFAB, the Multi-Domain Task Force, and Special Operations Command Pacific. He brings added value through relationships and experience within the sustainment community by way of his time at Rock Island Arsenal as the Garrison Sergeant Major. Also incredibly meaningful to reinforce our already tremendous mission partnership with 8th TSC and Diana, thank you for being here today. Across this region, we have allies and partners who simply envy the professionalized NCO enlisted corps of the U.S. Army and quite frankly need to learn lessons
from us in terms of point of injury care and the level at which we can entrust junior soldiers to pr deliver that point of injury care. We have a phenomenal opportunity to be Army Medicine's ambassador and influence in this space. So folks, as 99% of my command tenure is in the rear view mirror, I am envious but excited for both you, Sergeant Major Dobbins, and the organization. Over the past two years, as I said, thanks to Command Sergeant Major Cortner, there has been significant and hopefully irreversible momentum towards an operationally relevant command that is nested with and meaningfully contributing towards user PAC's objectives, activities, and investments across the region. So I do hope that this assignment is professionally rewarding for you. More importantly, Henry and I have tried to foster a sense of teamwork and embrace the Ohana spirit within the Pacific Knight family. So we equally hope your tour here is personally rewarding and fulfilling for you, Olivia, and the boys. Welcome to the team, Pacific Knights. Ladies and gentlemen, the outgoing Command Sergeant Major, Command Sergeant Major Christy Kortner. Good morning. Distinguished guests, soldiers, families, and friends at the 18th MedCom, welcome again. Thank you for attending this morning. I want to again acknowledge Specialist Clark. Not only is it an amazing rendition, but I watched your face. Sometimes people are so focused on not for not forgetting the words or going it wrong that they have a very straight face you can tell that you absolutely find joy in in that song like you are proud to sing it and you are in it and that was amazing to see um and thank you for the 25th id band for bringing that extra touch of class to the ceremony a little over two years ago i stood in this same spot humbled to assume the role as the command star major for this organization and will leave here today changed for being here and so proud of the organization and all its accomplishments Watching this unit's transformation from when I was here eight years ago to today has been nothing short of phenomenal. So I said my thank yous last week to everybody individually, and so I'm gonna do a little something different, and I'm gonna talk to Sergeant Major Dobbins about the soldiers. We've heard all about the missions that happen, and while they are amazing and we're making great inroads in the Pacific medically, none of this happens without the people and some of the people behind the scenes. So I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about those people. The officers and, and soldiers in this organization are some of the smartest you will ever meet, and they are truly invested in their roles here and the impact they have on the region. They will do anything it takes to get a mission accomplished, to find a way to yes, and they will do it without a smile and very little complaining. Sorry, wait. The G1 will answer all of your random questions, and on a question, and on occasion, will ask a couple of their own. The G2 will make sure you know all of the things, and every once in a while, ask you where your badge is. The G3 and integration sections will have you questioning your own intelligence, especially some of those NCOs working back in plans. As they plan exercises, they are doing it on a level that sometimes, I'm be honest, I didn't understand. G4 soldiers spend a good portion of their lives off this island and other nations setting the unit up for success. And if you're IT challenged, like I was all the time, the G6 will help you no matter where on the globe you are and if you're in your office they'll come find you there and they will do it and they won't make fun of you at least not to your face the g1 will always find a way to get the money and the most unsung heroes sit over in hhc those young soldiers over there keeping readiness training supply all of the little things that aren't little they're actually huge keeping it in line the special staff over in their own building, they feel like they're forgotten sometimes, but they will make sure that everything stays on the straight and narrow while maintaining their lovely zoo of mongoose and whatever else decide to live in their space. Last and certainly not least, the FRSD is crushing relationship building across the theater and making a name for themselves at every JPMRC rotation and jungle medicine that they can get to. And they're dominating the NCO and competitions and earning badges across. So these amazing soldiers, they'll let you I'm gonna say this with quotes so I don't get in trouble. They will harass you into, into, into them going to learn to swim classes and then crush it in the pool and then take other people with you. They will allow you to force them into earning badges that they didn't know they wanted and then they will show you all the grit they have while earning them. You can ask Arn Scott, the ground hornets, and he, he kept on going anyway. They'll compete at the soldier boards if they don't want to and give you everything they have when that time comes. 
It was an honor to work with them, and I hope you have just as good a time leading them as I did. I have no doubt that they will continue to flourish under your leadership, and I'm excited for them and for you. I wish you and your family nothing but the best. So I wish everybody thank you again for attending Pacific Nights One Team this World Event. Ladies and gentlemen, the Command Sergeant Major of the 18th Medical Command, Command Sergeant Major John Dobbins. Good morning. Distinguished guests, family, friends, soldiers of the 18th Medical Command, and those joining us virtually. Thank you all for taking time to be a part of this ceremony. Special thanks uh, to Chaplain Goldsworthy for the wonderful invocation. Specialist Clark, again, for that rendition of uh, the National Anthem, it was truly amazing, so thank you again. 25th Infantry Band, uh, thank you very much, uh, outstanding job, you added definitely a touch of class to the ceremony. And to all those that helped put this together, it's no small feat and you did an outstanding job, so uh, give a round of applause for everybody, please. <laughs> Major General Lodi, Thank you for selecting me for this humbling opportunity to serve as the Command Sergeant Major for the 18th MedCon. I look forward to working with and for this outstanding team and to continue moving the unit forward. I also want to thank you and Henry for the warm welcome as we transition from Joint Base San Antonio to this pretty decent assignment location. So thank you. To my family, again I want to express my deepest thanks for all the love and support. As I've said many times, our family's sacrifice reciprocate, if not exceed, that of our service members, and I truly appreciate what my wife and children do to make me able to continue serving our country. Thank you. I love you all. Sergeant Major Cortner, thank you as well for the very warm welcome. Your dedication and passion for taking care of soldiers is evident, and I wish you the very best in your future endeavors. So thank you. Officers, NCOs, and soldiers of the 18th MedCon. I'm excited to work with and for you again as we continue to build relationships and shape operations that will ensure continued success. One team, this will defend Pacific Night 7, signing on. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the playing of the Army song. gentlemen, this concludes today's ceremony. Mahalo Nui Loa for your attendance. Please take a moment to wish Command Sergeant Major Cortner a fond farewell. There will be a reception for the Command Sergeant Major Dobbins on the outside of the gazebo. One team, one fight, Pacific Knights. <laughs>